What's up, YouTube? This is BJizzle904, also known as The Mouse, and we finna give y'all a detailed instructional video how to get NCAA Basketball 10 with a March Madness Legacy mod. Y'all know March Madness is jumping right now, man, but we're gonna get right into the video. So, I'm gonna put the links in the description. Um, um, I'm not gonna put the game in the description because I got the game from a friend. Now, if y'all search up my friend, you might he might be able to help you out. His name is Vim Lair. Vim Lair. That's his name. I don't know why his mama named him that, but that is his name, Vim Lair. Okay, so right here, um, this is the emulator. You want to download uh, RPCS3. You want to download the Windows file. That's going to download, okay? Um, this is where you're going to play the game. This is what you're going to play the game on. And you're going to need the V5. I'm going to put the link in there. It's going to say V5 PC package. You just want this one. You don't need the rest of them. We're doing this on PC. So you're going to click it. And then you're going to click download right here. And that's going to download. And then you're also going to need V6. So now with V6, it's the same thing. You only want the PC package. MML V6 PC package. We're going to click that. You're going to download it. Now those are your mods. Okay, and you're also going to need the PS3 update. So for the PS3 update, you can click it. If it doesn't work, right-click it and hit save link as. Sometimes your firewall might say it's blocked. Hit keep on it or trust anyways or whatever. And if that doesn't work, um, there's another website. I think the tech spot you can get it from um, for the PS3 update. But after you update that, you want to go into your downloads where you just downloaded everything at. And this is where the magic happens, y'all. What you want to do is the RPCS3 version, whatever you got, you want to right click it and you want to, it should say extract all or extract here. You want to click whatever it is says for you. This is what mine says. So I'm just going to hit extract two and then it's going to make its own folder. What I like to do is so I don't get confused. I like to right click it and I like to name that folder, the emulator folder. So you want to right click rename and name it the emulator folder this is how we don't get confused and me i like to right click i'm gonna right click the emulator again and i'm hit open a new window so i can just be organized and have everything right next to each other all right so what you want to do is you want to click the emulator which is rp uh cs3 and you're going to run it all right you're going to hit create desktop start menu whatever you want to do i have red quick guide Sh don't show this again and you're going to hit continue all right, we're going to hit continue. The emulator is going to come up. Okay, so now that we got the emulator, what y'all want to do is y'all want to drag and drop the PS3 update file into the emulator. So we're just going to take it, drag and drop, and it should say install firmware. All right, and it's going to install. If yours, if yours won't install, oh, this is going to come up right here. Uh, when this screen comes up, do not exit out of it. Um, this is the emulator just working and putting in the stuff. So I'm going to minimize it for a second because if you can't drag and drop another way, you can click file, install packages, and then it'll load up your download. You got to go to your downloads file and then put it in through there. But you don't have to do that right now because if you can drag and drop, then you don't need to. So once this is done, all right. So once it's done, what we want to do is, it might take a little minute. So what we want to do is, okay, so now we want to go back here to the folder. So in the folder, um, in the emulator folder where RPCS3 is, all right, you want to go to dev underscore HDD0, all right, and you're going to want to right click it, new folder, and what you want to do is you want to name the folder disk. Now you want to go to dev underscore HDG zero now, and we're going to make a new folder in there and you're going to name it disk. Okay. So now that we're at the disk, uh, we can, we can click into the disk folder. Just click into it for now. Y'all there's nothing in there. So now what we want to do is we want to put the game in the disk folder. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to the game and we're going to extract the, the game, uh, extract all, extract whatever it says. And that's going to take a little minute, but you want to extract it while that's doing that. My bad, y'all. 
Y'all need to see that. But it's going to take a minute to extract. But while it's doing that, uh, let me get this for the name. So I can have it ready. All right, y'all. It's going gonna, it's gonna to take a minute to extract. Uh, I'm going to let y'all, y'all can pause the video here until yours is done extracting, but I'm going to skip through it real quick, um, the extract part, and then we're going to get right back into it. So we're just going to give it a second. So now that it's back, uh, what we want to do is, y'all see this folder right here? Hey, if you got it from my boy, this is what your folder should look like. So what you want to do is, you want to click into it. You want to click into it once. All right, we don't need this. But we're going to click into it once, and it should say NCAA Basketball 10. What you want to do is you want to right-click, rename it. I don't know if you have to rename this, but on football you do. And I'm going to put what you need to rename it in the description, y'all. So this is what it's going to be. Make sure you copy and paste it exactly. Don't go too far over and get extra space or over. It might mess up the mod. So after we extract it, what you want to do is you want to drag it into that disk, that dev underscore hdd0 disk folder that we made. You just want to drag it into there, into the disk. All right, remember, so if you if you don't remember where it is, you go to the regular emulator, you look for dev underscore hdd0, you click disk, and then you just drop it in there. All right, so now that that's that, we're going to go back to the emulator. And you can, we're going to go back to the emulator, and you're going to click refresh. Okay, now the game should be in here. So that's the regular game. What you want to do is you want to go to configure controls and you want to set up your controller at this point. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to, if you're on a PS3, it's DualShock 3. If you're on a PS4, it's DualShock 4. If you're on DualSense, it's PS5. And if you're on X input, that's an Xbox controller 360, Xbox One, Xbox Series X, all the same. So dual sense that's PS5 because that's what I have in. So I'm gonna click it, and what we want to do is we want to load up the game. All right, so the game gonna load up. All right, um, this is important that you load the game first before you do anything else. So do not skip through this video, uh, or else it might mess up. So the game gonna load. Probably skip this little long process, but this uh compiled PPU modules. You probably can pause the game right here. Uh, to show you all right so now that y'all we back so now that it's done it went through that long process what you want to do is going to say game that is required you want to take your controller that we hooked up um that we hooked up make sure it's hooked up to the pc and you set it settings you want to want to click a or x depending on what controller you got and it's going to say installing ncaa basketball 10 game data do not turn off the system while this is being written don't do anything here. Don't exit out. Don't do nothing because this is important. We got to do this before we install the mod. Okay, now that's done. We just going to get to the start screen. Um, So, yeah, I might uh, skip. No, nah, no, nah, I ain't going to skip it. I ain't skip it. So, we right here. Uh, You probably can skip like 30 seconds of this if you don't want to watch this part of the video. But since we all doing it together, you might as well let it run through. No, I'm playing. But here we go. As you can see, the game loading. We just want to get to the start menu. As you can see, Blake Griffin, they're going to make you watch this for the first time. You know what I'm saying? Swim move, dunk on him. You know what I'm saying? And this game pretty live. Man. I ain't going to lie to you, man. All right, so now that it's here, what we want to do is we want to press start. All right, you want to press start. We're just going to click X all the way through. You don't have to do your team yet if unless you really want to. Uh, but we're just going to wait till it loads up so we can see what it looks like. All right, boom, we got Blake Griffin, the game's installed. Now for the mod. Now this part is very important, y'all. This, well, this whole video is important. So you wanna exit out this game, right? Exit, you wanna go back to where your mods are, like where everything you downloaded that is, and you wanna leave this to the side. You wanna drag V5 into the emulator. You wanna click yes. And also, y'all, while this is installing, there's also going to be Something after we put in these mods that you have to do to keep your game from crashing. So y'all don't exit the video after we put this in, okay? It's another, it's something else you got to do. And these steps are very important to get your game running smooth without it crashing, all right? Because this game does crash if you don't do, have these settings. So it's going to say V5, 
All right, boom. Now the package is installed. Now you want to drag in V6, MML V6 PC package. You just want to drag that in. You want to install this package, same process. You click yes. All right, boom. So now the mod is installed. This is the most important step here. You want to right click on the game. You want to hit create custom configuration for default settings. You're going to click it and then a window should pop up. It should look like this. Okay. Now let me get the exact settings y'all need. Okay. Now y'all want to do this exactly how I do it. Okay. So what you want to do is you want to click enable SPU loop detection on this first page, the CPU page that came up. You want to click that. And you want to, okay, I think that's all we got to do on this page. Yeah, okay, so we're done with this page. You want to click GPU next. Now that we're on GPU, it should look like this. Okay, so for Z score accuracy, you want to click this and you want to put it relaxed fastest. Relaxed fastest, okay? And you want to anti alias alien. Oh, I don't even know if I said that right, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. All right, so what you want to do is, I have mine on auto. You can put on auto or disable. Disable might help if it does crash, but I have mine on auto. But you can set it to disable. Um, so output scaling, you want to put it on nearest, not by linear. You want to put it on nearest. And for your default resolution, it's going to depend on your monitor. Do not change this up here. Come down to the scale. If you're on 1080p, you want to go to 150%. If you're on 1440p, you want to go to 200%, and then I think 4K is 300%, but I'm on 1440p, so I'm going to put it on 200%. And then down here under additional settings, all right, right here, you want to click asynchronous texture streaming. Okay, boom, you got that. So now we want to go over to advanced. Okay, so advanced, what we want to do is we want to put it on... Suspend emulation save states mode. You want to click that. Um, let's see. Okay, then under here on the RSX FIFO accuracy, you want to set it to atomic, y'all. All right, so now it's on atomic. And then for driver wake up delay, you want to set this to 200. If I can get it. Dang, got two strong hands. All right, 200. Am I in? All right, there we go. We got it to 200. All right. And then V blank frequency, you want to put it on 120 hertz. You might can leave it on 60, but just for the sake of this video, I'm going to put it on 120 hertz if I can get to 120, bro. All right, bro, 120. So you want to hit save custom configuration. All right, now that the game saved, we got that. Now we can click it. All right, the game's going to load up, y'all. And now you should be ready to play. Now, for, fair warning, um, the U, like my alma mater, the UNF Ospreys, the game's going to crash regardless. It should look like this, March Madness Legacy. Um, as y'all can see, it's loading. It's loading. Boom, we got all the all, – shout out to all the modders on the game. And then, boom, as y'all can see, hit start. Okay. Now you got the mod on here. Like, teams like University of North Florida Ospreys don't work. Um, it might be some other small schools. It's some of the schools that added they weren't in the game. But other than that, you should be good. Come out here, shoot around, press start. Play now, you know what I'm saying? And we're just going to load up the game just to show y'all it works. You know what I'm saying? And if you get this far, usually... When the game starts, it shouldn't crash. But And if you want to make the game full screen, double tap the screen. And then boom, we out here. Y'all see the presentation on the game. Hello fans, I'm Brian Nessler. Just took a little turn. My Elgato just probably tweaked. But as y'all can see, we got Duke versus North Carolina. You know what I'm saying? As y'all can see, we got, a little, we got updated rosters. You know what I'm saying? And of course, we got, we got the boys out here, great and the game should work, position. you know what I'm saying, load the game up, y'all boys Ladies have fun, tag me in, whatever y'all got going go. on, but so man, this and is B-Jizzle 904, bro, and you got the game, y'all boys the get at it, yeah.